on a scooby doo's dot eu you can find a section where fits realize that you can overloop on a box and it gives you something um, really interesting this tutorial is gonna dedicate it to that idea I'm gonna overloop on the over knot, overloop on the box, and overloop on the string itself. And I'll use only over knots and box stitches for this tutorial. And it kind of reminds me of a futuristic robot that kind of kind of lies Mars uh, or mo the Moon or whatever. Uh, especially this dark brown and yellow one. So enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to find a center of one of the strings and I'm going to do an overhand knot and then I'll loop around the overhand knots as many as, as much as you want. So you can overloop here. Let's do this three times. Now I'm going to go around three times on the other side. Now I'm just going to do a little bit more times and I'll continue on. Now it's time to add the silver string and I'm going to make a box stitch. And instead of finishing the box stitch, of course, we're gonna overloop and it's gonna be look look like this. So this yellow string here, I'm gonna go around the silver string and I'll do it for four times and then I'll do it with a silver and with a yellow. The, the other one I'll just gonna leave it to be the last one, the last string. I won't do it for all strings, only three strings in, instead of four. So the gray string, I'm going to overloop it three times. And finally, if I have a little, this little string, I'm gonna overlook it two times.
Finally, I'm just gonna make an overhand knot with these two strings and these two strings to close this box stitch even better. And we're done with box stitch. The next part I'm gonna do a section of um, a mix of uh, overhand knots and box stitches. So pick uh, two random strings and we'll do one time a overhand knot and one time a box stitch or circle stitch whatever you like so say this string is too far so i'm just gonna make over overhand knot here and now i'll make a box I'm gonna overloop this string. So what if if a string goes like this, we'll have an overloop idea again. And that's about it for this section. So the next section is going to insert uh, a string, say, for one of the loops from existing loops we did, which we did tons. Overloop this on the same string. And get it back to, to, the, um, to the side here and we'll do it a few more times. Thank you. 
try to com combine all four strings back to uh, something clear. Uh, a box, say a box hitch, and also then I'm gonna overloop it again, or whatever kind of thing that you already experienced on this project. So somehow this string is too far to this to this side. So how gonna do it? Um, I can say oh, I can. I can make it the overhand knot here, see how it goes. And then over, over knot here. Yeah, and then I can just combine uh, a do a variant of a box. So I'll make a box. Let's see how it goes. Okay, and I'll bring, say, um, this string and gonna overloop it around here you can pick any string you want in there every one of you will get something different so like this and then i'll make another box so So this, this string is here, this string is here. So I guess we have a box like this. And then I'm gonna overloop, say, this string here. Somehow I'll overloop, uh, say, I can go like this. Want to finish up with something that is easy to see. A regular box. Thank you. 